Todis is another in our series of videos about problems that we faced and overcome with the Android head unit in the Range Rover L405. So Ian will do the little pointy thing. We fitted, we've upgraded from the standard um, one that had the physical switches either side. We've now got this big 10.25 inch Android screen in. Um, the problem we're dealing with today is the reverse camera image. So if I put the car in reverse here, the screen will go back and we've got nothing. We've got no signal. But then watch this, this is really weird. I'm gonna put the car back in park and watch what happens on the screen. Into park. Oh, no, no right, no. no, I'll do it. I'll demonstrate it another way. If you go to the host screen, which is the original Land Rover screen, and we put it in reverse, we get nothing. Right, well, let's see. Let's try again. What's this? If I put it in park, you get... You, so it's there. It's there. But, hold on. It goes. So, the, the camera's clearly working. It can see it, but it's all... When you turn off, when you go from reverse to park, it comes up for it. Right, but we've worked out what the problem is. Okay, so let's just go back to the home and go on to the settings. Okay, and then if you scroll up here... We're looking for back car, which is obviously reversing camera setup. And then you can have the back, the reversing video from the screen. Or what if we untick that, then what we've got now is we've got the back car video from the host. So the host computer is the original Range Rover system, the original Range Rover camera, which we want to use. So, so it's a bit, you don't have this option all the time unless you just untick that main box. Yeah, so it's, so a, it's a bit counterintuitive. Bit backwards, but just go for it. Go for it. Just follow us on this. Trust. Right. As Johnny used to say. Right. Um, so now let's see. Now let's put it in reverse now. There we go. There we go. And a super clear image. And, and and we've got the soup we've got imposed as I turn the steering wheel look, you can see it's superimposed on that where we're gonna go. And also it puts your parking sensor things on, which I'm not sure the original one did, um, interestingly. Um right, and let's just see let's just put it in host screen again. So if we go home oh, hold on, put it in park, there. hold on. Let me put it in park. Oh gosh, what have I done now? I did this the other day. Here we go. Um, right, let me put it in the host. Right, so I've got the host there. And now if I put it in reverse in the host, likewise, it works. And when you go off it, it, it leaves it up for a bit, which was the bit we were seeing. And then it'll go back. Um, so there we go. So that's how to to configure your reverse camera to be from the host. Now what you could do is you could add your own reverse camera and use the Android system if you want, but it, it doesn't seem worth it as the Range Rover L405 comes with a reverse camera. Anyway, enough of that. Good luck with that.